Gosh, these are so heavy. I can't believe I'm about to share this on the internet. This is my first crush. Oh, was I planning on having kids with him? I wasn't even 10 years old. I think I might be going through puberty. <laughs> oh, his dirty blonde hair. I think he's going to kiss me. Kiss me. What I think is going to happen is once I go through puberty and get boobs and stuff, I'll go visit him. I can't wait until he emails back. What? What? Number 14, I was smoking hot. Uh. Hello everyone, my name is Carrie and welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title, yes, I am going to be reading my diaries today. I have all of my journals that I have filled up. A quick recap, I have been journaling since first grade and I actually started writing every single day since January 1st of 2017. So many of you have been asking me to read some of my old diaries because y'all want to know my secrets. And I have been putting it off for so long because I don't... I don't know what it holds. I don't even know what kind of things are written in here. But so, because I recently hit 1,000 subscribers, I decided to give the people what they want and read some of my old diaries for you guys. And really quick, before I get into it, I just wanted to say thank you so, so much for 1,000 subscribers. I am just so, so grateful for each and every one of you, and I can't wait to make more videos for you guys. I make videos about fitness, journaling, nutrition, sometimes like fun videos, and since I'm going to be starting college in the fall, I plan on making a ton of really fun college videos as well. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and while you're down there, you can give this video a thumbs up and comment down below if you journal. And if you do, let me know how many embarrassing things you have written in those journals because I know I have a lot. Oh man, I am really nervous for this. <laughs> I've never like read anyone my old journal entries. Here we go. Okay, so I guess I will start off from the very beginning. My very first diary, it's got a little lock on it and I have the little key. This diary actually took me like five years to fill up, I think. Yeah, so my first entry in this diary was on November 4th, 2018. 2018. 2008, very big difference. And the last one is August 19th of 2013. So like almost five years to do this whole journal. And then we have all of these. So there's bound to be something in here, but I guess we'll just jump right in. Oh goodness. So my first journal entry ever is from the presidential election of 2008. It says, Obama is whining. But I don't care who wins, win is, apostrophe S. <laughs> I just want the one that is the president to be the president. Wow, that is so wholesome. Also on November 4th, 2008, I rode my bike to school with my brothers today. After I ate my briac fast, <laughs> briac fist? I went to class. I did my morning work. After I did my morning work, <laughs> I read a few hours a later, I ate lunch. 30 minutes later, I went home. That's a really short school day. <laughs> I was six years old at this time. Wow, I have good spelling and handwriting for a six year old. Oh my gosh. March 15th, 2009. Jeez, I like really <laughs> messed up on this one. There's a lot of like eraser marks. I'm at the store with my mom, my two brothers, and my baby sister. We are going to buy lots of stuff. We got strawberries. <laughs> We love strawberries. I love going to the store. <laughs> wow, that is so cute. Oh my gosh, and March 21st, 2009. Tomorrow is my birthday. My birthday is March 22. I'm going to eat cake and open presents. I'm going to make a cool wish. I am trending. <laughs> I am trending seven years old. <laughs> wow, can you believe that was 11 years ago? Oh my goodness. April 22nd, 2009, I am at Nora's soccer practice, with a K. Nora was my best friend in elementary school. Hi Nora, if you're watching this, love you. <laughs> oh boy. Aww. My dad was like stationed somewhere and I wrote about like how he had to leave and I just was like really sad. My dad is here for the weekend to visit for the first time. I'm really happy, but he's leaving tomorrow. Wish he didn't have to go anywhere. I'm really going to miss him. If only we could go with him. I know I'm always going to love him no matter what happens to him. Aww. So sweet. Oh my gosh, I let my friend Nora write in my diary. <laughs> On July 20th, 2010, by Carrie's bestest friend Nora. Today we went to Walgreens and got, wait for it, 
wait for it, many silly bands. And if you move, I want you to remember you will always be my best friend. Oh, that's so cute. And she wrote, she drew a little picture of us. She wore bows all the time back then. Oh, oh man. <laughs> On the, literally the next page over, this was like over three months later. I said, I have not been in my diary for a really long time. Also, I had no idea Nora wrote that over there on that page. I'm kind of mad at her because it's my diary and not hers. Well, there's not anything to write about, so I'm stopping. Cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys, this is where things get a little spicy. So, oh wow. I can't believe I'm about to share this on the internet. This is my first crush. Should I say his name? I mean, he already knows, like, I still will occasionally talk to him. Should I say his name though? I don't know, I feel like it's fine. It's fine. Hmm. I'll say his first name, but I won't say his last name. I wrote out his first and last name though. <laughs> I'll just say his last name was Smith. So May 13th, 2011, my first crush ever. There's this guy in my class named Jack Smith. <laughs> And I think he has a secret crush on me. He has been really nice to me and yesterday I saw his sister and I said, Hi, are you Jack's sister? Yeah, you must be Carrie. How did you know? I said, Jack talks about you all the time. So now I'm really scared because he likes me and he is the first guy that I know of that has a crush on me. <gasps> Oh my gosh. I was nine at the time, so I think I was in third grade. Cause yeah, he was in my third grade class. But then on the next page, almost three months later, August 11th, 2011. Now that I think about it, Jack Smith is kind of cute. It took me three months to think about that. Are you kidding me? But the sad thing is, is that Jack is moving in a year because his dad's in the military. So if I ever date him, girl, I, w I was already planning on maybe dating him. I was in third grade, what? So if I ever date him, him, I can't do it for that long because he's moving. I'll just have to wait and find out. Okay. August 18th, 2011. So that's a week later. Yeah! Jack oh, Jack Smith is in my class. I really hope he sits next to me. That would be awesome. I saw him at the open house and heard him say to his mom that he thinks that I don't like him. In parentheses. But I really do like him. Oh my gosh, I like crossed out really, but then I like, I guess changed my mind and I really do like him. Two months later, October 8th, 2011, Jack sits next to me. Jeez, what luck. I am, what? Why can't things work out like this for me anymore? And I'm really happy about that. I wonder why. Every day now, I've been playing with Jack and his sister after school and on the weekends. I'm too scared to tell him that I like him and he's too scared to tell me that he likes me. Oh, the doorbell just rang. That's <laughs> Oh, the doorbell just rang. <laughs> That's probably him. I'm going to go answer the door. Can we just take a second? <laughs> Can we just recognize? I took the time out to write that. Two whole lines. So I heard the doorbell ring and then I wrote in my journal. Oh, the doorbell just rang. <laughs> Literally, that probably took me like a minute to write or something as a third grader. He was probably waiting at the door forever. I'm so sorry, Jack. <laughs> oh my gosh. November 26th, 2011. Well, Thanksgiving went well. Daddy also came home to visit from California. He also got surgery about a week ago. Right now, Nate is going crazy because the Florida, Florida State game came on like two seconds ago. Daddy keeps asking if he can read this afterwards. I said, no. <laughs> okay, nice, cool. Of course he had to ask why. I said, because it's my diary. Well, I've got to go. I'm getting in trouble. I have to watch the game. Ugh! <laughs> Oh, the next one's about Jack, okay. Jack's moving to North Carolina next year and he doesn't sit next to me anymore. Oh, oh, so sad. So things aren't going perfect for me. Daddy is in California. Editing Carrie here. Uh, that definitely says Daddy is California. Tomorrow I have a field trip. Ben is acting like an imbecile and <laughs> Jeez, what a big word for a third grader. He is upside down making random noises. It is annoying. Shut up already, Ben. <laughs> Jeez, I'm so mean. Great, Sammy just came in. By the way, Ben is my twin brother and Sammy is my little sister. <laughs> That's just great. Oh wow, must have been a bad day. Jeez, oh my gosh, look, I drew a little picture. That is so cute. Throwback to when I thought I was an artist. 
December 10th, 2011. Right now, I'm sitting on a huge pile of bricks. Hmm. And I drew a brick. January 5th, 2012. It's the new year. Wait a second. The world is going to end this year. Just kidding. Oh. Oh my gosh, this, okay, this one's, ooh. So I was about to turn 10, I was still nine. On January 29th, 2012, this is what I wrote. Right now I'm in my room bored. My handwriting might look messy because I'm writing with a giant pencil. <laughs> Jack got back in school last week. He was out for four weeks because he got surgery on his head. He also got glasses. I'm starting to not like him anymore because he is starting to be mean and rude and plus he doesn't want kids. Oh my gosh. I mean, that's my goal in life, to have a lot of kids. Bro, what? I don't like you because you don't want kids as a third grader. Sammy's birthday is on Thursday. Oh, and by the way, on Saturday, I had to take a shower with one of my friends who I'm not gonna say, and she just had to show me that she was going through puberty. Oh, uh, it was gross. She also said that she uses deodorant and that she wears bras. Whoa. Next, moving on. February 28th, 2012. I have no idea why, but when I grow up, I want to be a surgeon and deliver babies. <laughs> this literally, I wasn't even 10 years old and I knew that I wanted to be an OBGYN. I didn't even know what it was, but yep. I don't know why, it's just as soon as I knew you could, I had an urge telling me I have to do it. I think I might be going through puberty. <laughs> oh, whoa, oh gosh. I think I'm starting to get Oh no, oh no. <laughs> I definitely was not. <laughs> definitely was not. I was, no. It's kind of weird thinking about it. Oh no. <laughs> Next thing you know, I'm going to have my period. I wonder what it's like, question mark. Get this, peeing blood and stuff. <laughs> Imagine! I definitely used to think that you like just sat down on the toilet and you just like peed and then you were done. <laughs> That's not... No... Okay. I just love how I said that though. Next thing you know, I'm gonna be having my period. I'm still shocked on what you have to do to have a baby. It sounds pretty fun! Oh my gosh, I can't control myself! <laughs> I wrote that! It sounds pretty fun. Are you kidding me? How old was I? I wasn't even 10 years old. Okay. I wish I didn't like this stuff, but I just do. Smiley face. You know, okay. Yeah, that, sure. Good job, Carrie. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure like I just remember always like learning about the human body and like the sexual education specifically because I want to be an OBGYN and I knew I like wanted to do something with that. So like I think I enjoyed the anatomy of it kind of, but also I was in third grade and I feel like I was just a curious little kid. I don't know. You know, I mm, we're moving on. March 22nd, 2012. Today is me and Ben's B day. Nora is here, so bye. <laughs> March 31st, 2012. Today, Danielle is sleeping over. Danielle is another one of my best friends. She's on my iPad playing Minecraft. She says it's a very entertaining game, but it has a few flaws without a W. She told to put flaws instead of problems because it's more fancy. Good thing I didn't know how to spell it. <gasps> oh my gosh, guys. April 11th, 2012. What a big day. I am so happy. I couldn't be more elated. Today at school, I was reading when Jack passed me a note. Oh my gosh, passing notes. I think we, we definitely sat next to each other because I remember this happening. Oh, I, I wrote that. He sits next to me again. The note said, <clears throat> I need to tell you something. <gasps> Ooh, could this be it, everybody? I wouldn't just let him sit there in suspense. How kind of me, so good. So I wrote back, I put, what? He answered and said, promise you won't tell anyone, especially Ben, because if he knows I told you this, he would kill me. Oh my gosh, man, stakes are high. I replied by saying, yes, I can keep a secret. Then Jack wrote, Ben told me at his birthday party you liked me. Ben, what a horrible brother thing to do. Oh my gosh, I looked at the paper in shock. I was mad at Ben because I told him about how I liked Jack and he said he wouldn't tell anyone. But I said what I said and I'm keeping my promise. Wait, what? 
Oh, I said what I said to Jack that I wouldn't tell him, tell Ben. Okay, Jack grabbed the paper and wrote, so do you? I wrote that I would tell him if he told me, if he liked me. At that point, isn't it kind of obvious? Jack wrote, sort of, well, yeah. I wanted to explode with joy. Aw, that's so cute. I wrote back and said, same. Now I don't know what to do. I'll have to find out tomorrow or something, but I'm so happy. But we're both moving next summer. Maybe we can email because he has a laptop and I have my iPad. Then he can tell me his phone number and I can tell him my phone number over email and we can talk. Oh my gosh. I had a crush on my family friend named Joe. Oh, it was literally for like a week though. Yeah, it was literally like a week. <laughs> I guess, mm, see you later, Jack, I guess. But I go, June 17th, 2012. Joe, Joe, Joe. That's all I can really think about. His dirty blonde hair, blue green eyes, freckles, tall, nice style, awesome, really nice, and way more. Huh, I wish we could date him at, wait a second, we, what? I wish we could date him? What? Who, who is we? I wish we could date him one point or something. Luckily, Ben and Nate are friends with Joe and Dominic, that's his older brother. So I don't know, I'll have to wait and see. We definitely did not end up dating. <laughs> oh, and I'm back to Jack now. June 29th, 2012. Today is Friday and on Wednesday, Ah, oh, I was so close. Just flip the N and the D. Jack moved. Good thing I'm or we're visiting him in North Carolina on the way to Virginia. He moved to North Carolina and I moved to Virginia, so we were like gonna stop by and say hi on the way and then like move on up. I think he's going to kiss me. Oh, oh my God. Did you know kissing helps your teeth stay healthy because of the extra saliva? I was 10. He was supposed to kiss me Sunday, so I heard. Megan came down and told me that Jack was going to kiss me. When she told me, Ben was next to her and then Ben ran upstairs and probably told him I knew. I didn't even have an idea that he and his sister were over at the house. Right now, we're driving to Panama City and watching Popeye. Why did I just switch? Okay. There are so many things that like I have wrong with that. I just like, he was supposed to kiss me Sunday. And then I just like, complete subject change. Right now we're driving to Panama City and watching Popeye. Wow, good. Okay guys, I literally was like going through and editing this video right now that you're watching and I was going through my old diary to like take pictures of everything to include in the video. And I don't know how I missed this, but on July 23rd, 2012, I go, me and Sammy watched a movie called Harriet the Spy. It was amazing. There was a girl named Carrie, spelled the same way as mine, and it said she spent the whole summer growing boobs. It's freaky because that's like, me what what does that even mean what does that mean what was I doing <laughs> oh my gosh anyway and then I go directly into the clip that you're about to see <laughs> I don't know if I like Jack anymore he keeps saying he doesn't like me which I know he does Jeez, Carrie I was so full of myself I know he does and he also swears constantly constantly and is so inappropriate Pre-ite. I mean, if he was an adult, I would be fine with it. But he's a kid. August 14th, 2012. Guess whose birthday it is? Jack's. He finally turned 10. Literally, this is all about Jack. This is everything, this is all about Jack. August 15th, 2012, the next day. Sorry, I never got to finish. It passed at 12 a.m. It passed it, 12 a.m. Well, I miss Jack. Sometimes I don't want to like him, but I know I still do. At least I'm honest with myself, you know? What I think is going to happen is once I go through puberty and get boobs and stuff and I'm older, I'll go visit him. So somehow we'll get, I can't even read this. I can't even read this. Oh my God. Am I allowed to share this on the internet? I don't know, should I be, mm, I don't know. I'm literally 10 years old. I'm 10 years old. Anyway, <clears throat> so somehow we'll get alone and we'll kiss or something. Kissing Jack, what would that be like? Hmm, it's a mystery. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I can't believe what happened early. What? 
Again, complete subject change, like no paragraph break or anything. I was over at Danielle's and we were thinking what to do and I heard her coughing. I immediately looked over at her and she was banging on her back. 911 came and took Danielle to the hospital. She swallowed a marble and it's now in her stomach. I have no idea if she out of the hospital yet. I feel so bad for her. I wish it was me instead of her. Aww. September 8th, 2012. The first week of school is over. There's no cute boys in my class. Dang, I was like really scoping them out in fifth grade. Actually, that is like so offensive to all the boys in my fifth grade class. Woo! None of them are cute. They are all ugly. Also, there's no girls that I want to be friends with like Nora, Danielle, and Jack. I've been emailing Jack recently. I asked him if he still liked me. I can't wait until he emails back. Hopefully he says yes because I still like him. <gasps> And yes, I probably even love him. What? What? <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't remember these strong of feelings for Jack. Whoa. Oh, four days later. Well, Jack emailed back. He said he liked me and he would date me, but were too young and far away. Then he emailed and plus you'll meet other boys, not guys boys. I don't know, but him saying, or emailing, that made me feel weird and not want to get married or have kids. I'm sorry, what? Just that one sentence. Hello? Did I read that right? <laughs> he said, plus you'll meet other boys. Not guys, boys. And that made me not want to get married or have kids. Does that make sense? Does that make any sense? What in the world was... I was 10 years old. I was 10 years old. I should have just waited and saw if he asked me to the dance. I don't think I like him anymore. I just wanna be friends, I guess. I feel so stupid. He was talking to me like he was my mom. <laughs> what? That's... Oh my gosh. I don't even... Okay, next. Oh God. Okay. <clears throat> so, once upon a time, I watched this movie called 16 Wishes. It was like some Disney movie or something where like this girl had a list of all the like 16 wishes that she had. And on her 16th birthday, each one of them like came true or something or she was like able to use all the wishes. I don't know. But I wrote down my 16 wishes as a 10 year old. And these were my wishes. <clears throat> my wishes. Number one, all the boys would like me. Every single one of them. Number two, all the girls would want to be my friend. Number three, my boobs would start growing really fast. <laughs> Number four, that it was normal for older girls to play with Barbies. Cause that's important. Number five, I was a teenager. Number six, I didn't need to go to school every day. Okay, fair enough, that's new. Yeah. Number seven, I never liked Jack Smith. <laughs> wow, that's kind of brutal. Jeez. Number eight, I didn't need to move to Virginia. Number nine, I had unlimited wishes. Number 10, I have a huge room, walk-in closet, and my own bathroom. Number 11, I could be in a really popular movie like The Hunger Games. Number 12, I could wear anything I want. Hmm, wonder what I was wanting to wear. Number 13, I was allowed to have and I had the cutest boyfriend in the world. Number 14, I was smoking hot. Number 15, I would never run out of money. That's a pretty good wish, yeah. Number 16, I have the powers of God. That is, wow. That is a very mighty wish and never happening. Okay, um, I think we're gonna end here. We got like a little over halfway through it and I think we've um, exposed myself enough for today. Oh man, I don't know if I'm ready to put this on the internet. Mm, my gosh, anyway, it's fine. I was 10 and nine and eight and seven and six. I'm so happy that you guys now know what I was thinking about as a 10 year old. Very embarrassing. Anyway, I really do hope you guys enjoyed that crazy whatever that was. I am very sorry that you had to listen to that. But thank you so, so much for 1,000 subscribers. I am really, really grateful for each and every one of you. And I just can't believe it. We made it to 1,000. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also give this video a big thumbs up. It would really mean a lot to me. Anyway, I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy. I love all of you very much and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.